G'day guys, my name is Peter Stuyvesant and uh, today I'm going to be showing you guys how to make this sort of uh, simplistic design for your SFM posters. Uh, it doesn't have to specifically be these colours but um, I'm going to show you how to do it uh, properly and the quickest way that I've uh, just taught myself how to do. Uh, so you basically want to open up into Dark Void and just find a nice open spot uh, and just grab your camera. <coughs> so we're going to zoom in the FOV, bring it out a bit. Uh, so this time I'm going to be just getting oh, what class do I do? I'm going to do engineer. So let me just, I'm not sure if that's the HWM model or not. Yeah, it was. Alright, so we're going to spawn him in. And just uh, position him. It doesn't matter about rule of thirds or anything because you're going to be short uh, changing the image. You can get the right angle though, which is what I kind of want. So I might go with something like that, roughly. Maybe a bit more eye level. There we go. So you want to go ahead and then enable the lighting, uh, and you're going to have to download something from the workshop. So if I just go to workshop, type in green, or oops, I'm still in the H, I'm still in the player files. Search green. It's not there. Where is it? Oh, there it is. Uh, so you're going to have to download a green screen from the workshop. That's not too hard to do. And yeah, so you want to pop that behind. It doesn't have to be perfectly in line as long as it's all green, you're good. Spawn in your lights. Uh, you want to make sure the intensity isn't too high. Obviously, suit it for what you need, but it doesn't really... You want it a bit lower. And your shadow filter size is very important. Shadow filter size here, it's in the top. One, two, three, four, five. It's in the sixth from the top. You want to turn that all the way to the bottom. Basically, what that does is it makes your shadows much sharper so if you see let me get a nice example there we go so around his face here if that shadow filter size is what it's normally you can see it's much uh let me just change these render settings really quick so it's smoother um if you look at his head there you see it's much smoother and if we make shadow filter size off like completely down it's much cleaner and I do that for most of my posters, most of my regular posters as well because I just love the look of it. So you don't really need to worry about rim lights or anything. Uh, you can add them if you want. Personally I just like leaving them out when I'm doing these simple design posters. Uh, so I kind of just want a nice shadow with the helmet, so something like that. Turn the intensity down a bit. Uh, also. I'm going to grab the camera so I can just turn the bloom off. Uh, you don't need to worry about blur or anything, obviously. But bloom, I'm turning that off. That way, so we get a cleaner uh, look on it. This is what we want, so it makes it easier to edit it uh, in post-production. like that just for the sake of the video so that's what we've got now we're going to want to export this yeah so I'm just going to do that and then I'll be back with you guys once we're in Photoshop alrighty so we're back it's rendered and so now I'm going to go ahead and open it up uh, into Photoshop once it loads here we are so this is where a majority of the work gets done. So what you want to do, you want to hit select up here, color range and click on the backdrop and then just, you want to change the fuzziness so that the engineer is completely black with no bits of light on him. So I'm just to be safe, I'm going 150. So you hit that, it'll select all the green and you go ahead and press delete. 
Now before you go ahead and deselect, you want to right click and hit select inverse. Now it selects the engineer and you just want to hit control C to copy him, then delete him and then control V again. So that way you've got an engineer or the whatever your model is now on a separate layer from the backdrop. So after doing that, you want to go ahead and set, keep the color that bright green, or well, it doesn't matter, it can be any green, uh, and you want to go ahead and make your primary color black and your secondary color green. And you want to go up here, you want to select it, and make sure the layer is selected with the model on it. You want to go up to filter, filter gallery. Now, mine's already preset onto it because I used it last, but you want to go, uh, so this is what you have. You want to hit go into sketch and then click on stamp and so you get this. Now you can change the light and dark balance to what you like so the lower the color the um, more that the secondary color shows and the higher the level the more that the primary color shows. So I still want it to be recognizable that it's an engineer. Well actually like that, a bit of a scruff on the beard. Let's see what 50 looks like. Okay, now that's way too much. <laughs> 47 looks like it might be good for about 45. Mm. I think I'm good with 46 or 47. 48? No, that's way too much. Can I do 47? No. Nah. So I'm going to go with 47. We'll touch things up that aren't exactly perfect. So go ahead and hit OK. And now what you want to do is you want to grab your brush. Uh, and you want to just fix up some of the stuff and the bumpy edges. So to auto color select, you can just hold down Alt and it will auto pick the colors, which is nice and easy. So I'm going to go ahead and get rid of that blue dot, or that, sorry, that green dot. And so you see how on these bits, how it kind of dips in and stuff, which obviously you don't really want. So I'm going to go ahead and select the green color and just uh, actually I'm going to make my pen size a bit smaller, my brush size, and I'm going to just get rid of them. Just clean it up, clean it up so it looks much smoother, nicer, everything. Just like that. Now you've got a much cleaner looking nose there. <laughs> uh, so the eyes are actually pretty good. They've just got a weird inside thing from when we selected them. So I'm going to go ahead and get rid of those. You probably can't even see them on the camera or on my with the recording device, but. Go. Oh, actually, there's a little bit there. Yeah, so that's essentially all I'm going to be doing for a little while. Probably, probably take you about 20 minutes this stage. This is the majority of what the work is, is in Photoshop, but it's not that hard. It just takes time, but if you just put it, put on some music, you can just fly by it, honestly. It does not take too long. And the great thing about this is, is you can shape the shadows to however you want, uh, obviously, because you don't have the visible lights, it's just two colors. Uh, yeah, you can make the shadows to literally whatever you want, which is quite useful for editing them and such. Um, I don't really like how a lot of... Actually, no, that's fine. I'll keep it there. I'm actually going to get rid of this one here. Uh, I'll probably just in a little bit after I show you guys some more stuff. I'm just going to chuck this on a time lapse, put some music behind it.
Alright, so now what you want to do is you want to do the same what you did with the background. So select your model, go select, color range, click the green, and make sure all the green is white, nothing else. So for me, I'm going to go with 90, hit OK, press delete, and now it all looks fine. However, there's a bit of dark green left behind here where the green mixes with the black in Photoshop. So we're going to do the same thing, color range and click on the dark green and just get it so that all the edges are selected. Hit delete. Uh, we almost got it. I'm just going to redo that again one last time. So you get that. Should select all of that. Should be good there. Perfect. All the green's gone now. Um, yep, we should be good. So now what you can do is you want to go ahead I'm actually going to tidy that up when, once you get rid of everything you notice a lot of stuff that you want to fix so I'm just going to do that so now you want to hit your background and grab your colors for your gradient or whatever you want to do in this case I'm doing gradient I'm just going to go over here actually so I can get the colors I want so they're identical to my other posters alright so now you want to grab your gradient tool and just start doing whatever so actually that looks good I'm happy with that as is I'm gonna get rid of this black line I think I don't think I like it smooth that out I think yeah there we go much better I like that more that's too thin <laughs> yeah, like I said before, when you get rid of all the green and the annoying colors and you get rid of the background, well, you add the background, sorry, you notice a lot more things. Okay, there we go. I'm happy with that. So, now we're going to go ahead and grab our cropping tool and just crop a square that's 2.5, 22.5 inches by 22.5. Doesn't have to be exact. There we go. That's pretty close. And now we're going to go ahead and move that around crop it so I'm gonna grab something that looks a bit like this I'm happy with that so go ahead and press enter bam you're done that's it <laughs> finally finished so you can go save save as ng Miami yes yes and so that's the Photoshop file but this time I'm gonna save it as a PNG and then in brackets edit yes yes wait for that to save and bam you're done that's it so uh yeah if you guys enjoyed and you found it helpful feel free to chuck us a like and subscribe and also check out my discord server linked in the description below so uh yeah catch you all later cheers